This video covers how to work with grids within Aviva E3D 3.1. It is possible to modify attribute values in grids. Click a cell and enter a value to modify the attribute value of an element. Note that grey cells indicate a read-only attribute. After pressing enter, the modified cell becomes cyan. The value in a cell may be copied into one or several other cells. After selecting copy in the contextual menu of a cell, select a destination cell and use the paste option of the contextual menu. Note that multiple destination cells may be selected by holding the control or shift key. Another way to modify the value of multiple cells is to propagate one value upward or downward. Select a range of cells, the top one having the value to propagate. Then select the Fill Down option from the contextual menu. When an attribute is a reference, like a specification, clicking the More button will open a reference browser to select a valid element. To sort a column, click its header. This will toggle the ascending descending sorting mode. To freeze a column to make it always visible, click the pin button in its header. A column may be filtered by entering values in the Filters row. The default filter is looking for values containing the entered text. Additional filter options are available from the drop-down list. Click the Filter button to clear the current column filter. To add or remove columns in the grid, select the Column Setup option of the contextual menu. Click the Add Column link label. This will add a new entry at the end of the columns list. In the Expression cell, select or enter the name of a valid attribute. The heading text is filled automatically, but may be modified. Click the button at the left of the row to select it, then use the arrows on the right to reorder the column. PML expressions may be entered to output more advanced values like calculations or logical tests. Logical fields will be displayed as a checkbox. Note that expression values are read only. Columns may be rearranged by dragging and dropping their header. They may also be rearranged vertically. Real attributes will be displayed with the current session unit for their corresponding dimension. Clicking the ruler button in the header allows the user to redefine the unit of the column. It is possible to group the columns by common values. To activate the grouping, select the grouping option from the context menu of the header bar. To group the rows by a column,
drag and drop the column in the area above the headers bar. Multiple levels of groups may be created by adding columns in the grouping area. When columns are grouped, it is possible to create summaries that will be displayed for every group and subgroup. The column summaries is activated by selecting the option in the header bar contextual menu. Click the Sigma button in the column to display the list of available summaries. Note that only numerical columns can be summarised. Select one or several summaries. Note how the summaries are displayed in the Groups, Headers and Summaries area. It is possible to generate a report from the current grid layout. Select the Quick Report option from the Headers Bar contextual menu. Select a template for the report and click the Open button. The grid may be exported to an Excel file by selecting the Export to Excel option in the contextual menu.